What's up guys, it's Juno. Welcome back to another Pokemon Showdown Live. Um, this is actually going to be NU this week, contrary to what I've been doing before. Um, because, you know, thought I'd shake it up a little bit. It's been like five straight weeks of UU, so... Um, anyway, I'm going to be using this uh, Life Orb Mawile team that uh, Tennis built. Because, you know, Tennis team, and I don't play a lot of NU, so... Uh, anyway, Grass Knot, Play Rough, Iron Head, and Sucker Punch. Uh, Grass Knot's a cool lure to free up. Um, to, like, basically to help knock down walls so Scyther can end up uh, sweeping. Anyhow. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, so basically it takes down a Quag so a Scyther can sweep. Uh, Yama, uh, which is just like standard .ad to check fire spam, because you know, fire spam is pretty prevalent. We have a uh, SD, like bulky SD Scyther, in order to, because uh, like, you know, it's pretty good in this meta. It's pretty fast and all that such. Um, okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. Anyway, uh, we also have defensive seismitoad with just running a little bit of speed to speed creep, other seismitoads. Uh, basically, the team's rocker and physical wall. And then we also have clay doll, which is kind of a cool mod. Um, it's running Culber so that it can uh, be, or it can like spin versus random stuff like Yama. Uh, Psy Shock, Ice Beam, Earth Power, and Rapid Spin. And then we have a Crow Dino, which cr is crazy EV spread, but a very, very cool mod in the meta. So we're going to go ahead and grab an NU match. Um, I made a fresh new account. Um, on the suspect ladder, so hopefully we can get some pretty good games. Uh, and this game is actually looking kind of cool. Um, where's Bo Bippity? <laughs> Bo Bippity. <laughs> anyway, so uh, he's using Torterra, uh, Reggie Rock, which is actually kind of cool, except for the fact that even Bulky gets to it kid by Specs, uh, Specs Typhlosion's Eruption, which is bad. Um, possibly AV Magmortar, um, Mantine, which is a cool defogger. Um, Jinx and Lipard. So, I think right here I don't really lose a whole lot in, le in leading, rather, with my Seismitoad. Um, I could lead with Scyther in order to pick off Jinx. I'm just gonna check how, fa how fast Jinx is real quick. Jinx is 95, so I'm actually gonna lead with Scyther, because in the event that he does lead with Jinx, I can uh, U-turn with Scyther and go straight out into Autono and then click Sleep, sleep Talk and hopefully get a kill. So, he ends up leading with Lipard. Um, which will be faster than me by just a few points, which is a little unfortunate. Probably going to fire off a knockoff right here. Um, but I feel pretty comfortable just going into my seismitoad right here. As a pretty nice middle ground. Allows me to get up rocks, which are actually super nice versus this team. Because if I can just pressure the Mantine a little bit, then uh, shouldn't actually be too much of an issue. Um, he ends up going for the T-Wave turn 1, so it works out for me. As I can just go straight away from my rocks. If he does go into his Mantine, my switch is probably going to be my Mawile. Um, because while Mawile is a very cool mon, I don't see it actually doing a whole lot in this battle. As he ends up U-turning, probably into Mantine, although it could be into a Jinx to take one of my... Uh, to take a Skull or something, because, you know, dry skin. Anyway, uh, we'll see what he does decide to uh, go out into. I wouldn't really expect Torterra right here because he could get burnt pretty easily by Scald, but he does keep a, a lot of offensive pressure. He, as he does end up going into Mantine, which you know is fine by me. Um, expecting the Defog right here, I'm going to go out into... What really takes this thing on the best? Let's think for a minute before just rushing into another decision. Um, probably going to go into Mawile. Or, or actually, I'll just click Knock because he can't do anything to me. And uh, getting rid of this thing's recovery really helps because, you know, it doesn't have uh, Roost, which if it had, I think it would be like RU, maybe even UU, but getting rid of this thing's recovery is really nice as he just ends up going for the Toxic, so um, I am faster than him, which, you know, was fine. I'm just going to go out into Mawile right now. Um, would have been nice to dodge a Toxic earlier, but it doesn't actually worry me too much because as long as I can pivot around with Seismitoad, um, and like into mag mortar and stuff then i'm not worried at all um so i will probably outspeed this thing and hit it with a play rough um this is life or like basically i get a free choice band um from life orb and sheer force um then you compound that with already stab and so mawile actually hits kind of hard um we'll see what he goes out into seeing as he only has one fairy resist um which uh, Hariyama can switch into relatively for free which is always nice and uh Hariyama is actually running facade um, this Hariyama set to switch into stuff like camera ups that sometimes will like spadef erupt carries wisp which you know is 
kind of troubling for Hariyama because like you kind of have to run thick fat in order to really check fire spam so if you get burnt then it's like oh like Hariyama's kind of dead weight now offensively but he ends up going out into Magmortar right here to take this play rough, which I end up missing, so like, why wouldn't I? <laughs> it's okay, though. I'm just going to go into Yama right here and fire off a knockoff, more than likely, assuming he stays in um, right here, which he's played pretty straightforward the entire game. He just ends up going for a flame charge. That's, that's kind of scary. Um, that kind of wants... That leads me to click close combat, I think, because, you know... I don't, I'm, I don't really feel pressured to make a play right here. Kind of want to deal with the threat that's in front of me. Um, although Flame Charge is kind of a cool set. If you want to use that after stuff has been worn down, you can switch moves. Although, to be honest, I feel that it's by and large outclassed by just straight up Scarf Typhlosion. Because Typhlosion does get access to a potentially higher base power move in Eruption. And uh, I think just overall does a better job. But he ends up going out into Tor Torterra right here to uh, not eat this close combat. Um, there's a good chance I'll outspeed this thing, but don't really want to risk it. Um, so I'm probably just going to go into Scyther, because Scyther will uh, either be immune to his stab, or is, is immune to a uh, ground stab and, is, and four times resists the other, So, uh, which is, of course, a grass stab. So I think I'm doing okay right here. Hopefully he doesn't go for the uh, Stone Edge. That would be troubling. Um, and also I get the added benefit of potentially getting this thing in before rocks, which is always nice. Um, because looking at his team, he has two rockers. Reggie Rock is... <laughs> The, the rock type is probably the rocker, but, um, you know, can always pull off some assault best set. He goes for the wood hammer, which actually does hurt a little bit, and uh, looking banded, to be honest, because I'm, like, max HP of Eyelight, and that still did a considerable amount. So, um, I'm just going to go ahead and click U-turn right here. I will get a kill um, or get off some, some pretty solid damage as he goes into Reggie Rock. Which does not actually trouble me that much, because I can just go into Mawile and now click Iron Head and uh, threaten this thing out. And if he goes back into Magma Order, that is not necessarily a great situation for him. Because uh, he's going to start taking a ton of residual damage here. And um, I think the reason I went, in, went into this over Seismitoad is because uh, Seismitoad does allow him to get his rocks back up. Which is something that I... Or rocks up for the first time. Which is something I don't necessarily want. Um, because just going into Mawile keeps up a lot of offensive pressure that... Uh, Otherwise, I wouldn't have. I end up getting a crit. Yo, where's my flinch, fam? As he go, as he goes for the drain punch. Um, but even though I got a crit, it was a two at KO anyway, so not really too worried about that. I'm just gonna fire off another Iron Head because uh, we'll do a good amount of damage to whatever comes in. As this is actually looking max defense in order to check Scyther. So look at Mawile doing his job as a wall breaker. There you go, buddy. Um, if he goes into Manton, I'm clicking play rough. It's not an issue because. Uh, you know, Iron Head will do a, a solid, like, 20%, maybe. And uh, at that point, uh, I'm pretty confident Play Rough can do 55. Um, he, his re only real switch into this is Magmortar, as he chooses to just fodder off Reggie Rock. Meaning, SD Scyther has a field day after I uh, get Rocks up. That's the first thing I need to do. Second thing I need to do is to uh, get rid of Lipard, because Lipard's annoying with Priority T-Wave. Uh, kind of like the Thunderous of this tier, except it sucks. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna go into Yama though, because Yama eats any hit this thing wants to go for, and uh, I can probably just knock off at that point, because I know he's gonna switch out. Uh, he goes for the flame charge. I don't see why you're trying to do this, man. Um, wait, hold up. Yeah, okay. I, I was just thinking for a second, what if I click knock off and he stays in? Um, I always have size potato, and I also have priority from in form of Mawile, so as long as I get him down to like 35% ish, I can eat any hit. So I go for the knock, that does half, and uh, we see the AV coming out of that thing, which you know, it usually runs, so AV Flame Charge, actually a pretty cool set, um, but as I said, I just feel like it's outclassed, like, the benefits of it are, is that like, it can, like, Flame Charge a weakened Hariyama, and then kill it off with Fire Blast, but... Um, I'm not a, this thing actually isn't all that fast, and, um, I think it lacks a lot of the killing power that Typhlosion has, despite the fact that it is a little bulkier. Um, so that, I'm gonna get a crit close combat there, which is a little bit unfortunate, but I think I, I feel like I would've gotten that damage off regardless. Um, predicting Scald, I'm going straight into Seismitoad, cause, uh... He, I feel like he's either going to Scald or Toxic, so Seismitoad is the perfect middle ground. 
and uh, thereby I can get my rocks up and pretty much force him out because he can't do anything to me. So he goes for the air slash actually. Um, so would have had a chance to get Mawile in for free right there, unfortunately didn't. Um, well not for free, but relatively. You guys know what I mean. So I'm going to go ahead and try to get my rocks up here, hopefully forcing a switch. If not, I'm going to try to buy myself a free turn in a Mawile, because um, I do really want my rocks up. Um, because they do actually threaten this team a lot. It breaks a potential sash for Jinx. Um, where's that Mantine? Where's that Magmortar? Which already is not looking very good right now. So he is in fact going to go out into Magmortar. And at this point I feel pretty confident sacking this thing. Going for knockoff. Um, because in the event that... Actually no, I should probably go for an EQ. Uh, I feel like EQ is the safest play if it does in fact register. Because... Um, he actually is HP Grass, so that's pretty neat on uh, his part. Doesn't really worry me too much. Um, let's see, I can go into Yama right here, because I feel like Yama will outspeed that. I know it can be 4%, so. Um, Crodino also can have a potential field day versus his team, because it doesn't really mind anything that a Jinx is going to throw at it, because, um, you know, Jinx is relatively weak, and even if it sleeps it, like, I have rest talk, because, of course, Crodino, but... Um, looking like I can pick up the win almost no matter what right here, so that's pretty cool. Um, how long is this one going on? For like, a, yeah, this is probably going to be the only match we get today, but, um, hopefully you guys are enjoying NU. Um, I haven't, I haven't recorded this in forever, but I may try to get back into NU, we'll see. I guess it kind of depends on the results of the suspect, because if you guys didn't know, they are suspecting Mega Camera up to Anti-Flosion, uh, two of the biggest problems in the tier, like, Hariyama is number one in usage, just followed, like, by Typhlosion by a couple points, and, uh, Hariyama, like, would be, Ben and I were talking about this, Hariyama's a solid A- mod if, uh, the other things aren't in the tier, like, uh, let, and when I say the other things, I mean, uh, Mega Camel and uh, Typhlosion. If they aren't in the tier, Hariyama is a solid A minus mon. But the fact that it's getting best usage in the tier and is like A plus kind of shows the dominance of uh, the fire types in the tier. So, anyway, I'm going to go into uh, Autono right here. Because, as I said, I really do not mind at all if he tries to sleep me. It's not that big of an issue. Um, and even if he tries to go into Magmortar and set up a Flame Charge, uh, he will go down to a Sucker Punch from Mawile at the range of HP he is at after Rocks. Uh, so I end up not taking that Ice Beam as well as I thought I would, and I get Frozen. Uh, so that's kind of lame, not even going to lie. Um, but I'm going to go into Hariyama, probably in an attempt to sack, because I don't really think I need it anymore, um, it's okay, um, so, going into Yama, taking the Ice Beam, it's not that much of an issue, because I can just click BP right here, get off some good damage, heck, this may even kill, because Jinx really isn't that bulky at all on the physical side, it's like base 35, I think, DT Jinx, base 35 indeed, 65, 35 bulk, look at that, um, so he may actually just be threatened out right here by the potential for a bullet punch or a fake out. Because um, Jinx actually does a mild amount of work versus my team. But, um, heck, you know, if I get rid of this uh, Lipard or even just make it his last Mon, then I don't think he can win at all. Um, even at this point, Claydol puts in a good amount of work versus his team because it can force this thing, it can force Lipard to knock and then get a free earth power off and Lipard really can't do that much for small while like it can knock off um but it's a neutral or it's it's a resisted hit so it really doesn't matter but anyway this guy's taking a while to make his moves so we're gonna go ahead and pause it and uh never mind this guy went ahead and made a move as so i click the b the b pizzle and uh, i can do it KO with that from that range so that is very nice but uh, we're gonna go ahead and pause it until this guy gets back so uh I'll catch you guys then Okay, I'm back. Um, he decided to just sack Torterra and go right back into Jinx, which is a play that I truthfully don't really understand. Um, I felt like uh, Lipard was the play to make there because if he has play rough, then he can knock me out with it. Because um, Jinx is just going to go down there. So kind of a wasted effort 
for him right there. But, you know, um, I was kind of going to win anyways. He decides to forfeit. So, uh, that's going to wrap up today's Showdown Live. If you guys did enjoy, please make sure to leave a like. It really does help show support for the stuff that I'm doing here on the channel. Also, make sure to answer today's comment question of the video. Um... It, Mega I don't know. Is it good? Is it bad? Let me know. Uh, and with that, I urge you guys to subscribe if you guys are enjoying the constant content. And with that, I'll catch you on the flip flop.